Hi guys, welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy and today I have a Yarn of the Month Club for you. It has been, a, it seems like forever since we had a Yarn of the Month. Well, today's Yarn of the Month comes from April at Mason Creations Yarns. So April is the owner of Mason Creations Yarns and she is the one who generously donated the yarns for the giveaway, remember guys? So I have in this package the yarn for December's 20 for December 2020's yarn of the month mystery club mystery yarn club guys are you guys ready so let's take a peek at her inspiration now with April's you get two 100 gram hanks she offers Erin DK and fingering weight yarns her Erin weight is 100% superwash merino it is beautiful soft fluffy squishy uh, her DK weight is on the 75, 25, 75 Superwash Merino 25 nylon. And then her fingering weight yarns come in of uh, two different styles. You could get the 75 Superwash Merino 25 nylon workhorse. It's got a, a little bit more sturdiness for making socks and things like that. And then she has what I got in here, the... 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, super, it's like a nice, soft, fluffy, squishy, fingering weight yarn. So you get two hanks. Now this particular month for December, she decided she wanted to put two different colors in there, but they would be Christmas theme related. Um, so her theme was for the new Nutcracker, so she had, she told me that these were the pictures that inspired her. It was this one here and this one here. Aren't they just gorgeous pictures? Very inspiring pictures to me. So I was like, well, I'm super excited to see what your yarns are. So let's take a look. Okay, guys, you ready? Oh, well, that's smooth. <laughs> Here they are. I had the the wrong side facing out. Okay, there you go. That's it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. Okay, so let's take a closer look, shall we? Let me take this out of here. Paper, paper, paper. So let's start with Clara. This one is called Clara. And like I said, Clara is on an, oh, this one is on an 85 Superwash Merino 15% nylon soft sock. There's 436 yards and it's 100 gram. And it is so nice and squishy, guys. So let's take a closer look at this yarn. Oh, this is just gorgeous, isn't it? So I am going to do like I always do and we're going to have a closer look. Give me a second, I'm trying to slide this off of here. I'm trying not to rip it, but I'm gonna end up ripping it, I can tell. I got it off. We ready? Let's open her up. So this one she called Clara. This one has some really deep charcoal colors in it. Really pretty. And it is so squishy and so soft. That is so pretty right there. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, that's very pretty. Very pretty. This should work up just gorgeously. What do you think, guys? It definitely will have a very pretty colors to it. That's for sure. I need to work some of these up, huh? I know, I know you guys, you seen them all unboxed and you see them like this but you haven't really seen them worked up. I know, I gotta get busy on that. Just beautiful, beautiful colors in this, just gorgeous. Nice, very nice. Just putting her back up in Hank form. Look, I'm getting better at it, aren't I? <laughs> okay, and this one, is called Mother Ginger, 85 Superwash Merino, 15 nylon, 
100 grams, 436 yards. This is very pretty. Oh, I love these fiery oranges and pinks in this. This is very pretty. Okay, guys. Look. Oh, look at these pretty colors. They are so beautiful. I love this. Oh, anything that has speckling and splashes of color just makes me happy. This should look really pretty worked up too, huh? These look really pretty. I wonder how they'll look worked up together. Like if you work them, you know, do your one row of this one and then do a row of that one to mix them all up in a project. That might look stunning, you know? Just all these colors melding together. So you have the deeper colors over here and then the brighter colors here. You have a few bright colors in here, but I think just, you know, do a row of this and then a row of this. That should be awesome looking, I think. I think that would look awesome. Okay, guys, so I need a pattern for this. What do you guys think I should make out of this one? If you guys have any ideas, and I and I definitely think it's definitely going to have to be where you do one row of the one color and then a row of the other color, just like you would do if you were, um, you know, anytime you're working with hand-dyed yarns and multiple skeins, say you're making a sweater, you should always alternate your skeins or your hanks of yarn because there's always variations even if you have all the same colors when it's hand dyed there can be different variations and if you go through one whole hank and then just start another hank you may actually see like a line of demarcation so when you're working with hand dyed yarns you should always do you know you do a, a, like for knitting, for example, you do a full like uh, knit row one forward and then purl back and then bring up your yarn up the side and then knit one, purl back, bring up your other yarn, knit one, purl back, so on and so forth. So you don't see a, a harsh line of like, you know, like say you had five of these and they all looked real similar. Sometimes you you can get like a um where you can notice oh that one was a little bit deeper and this one's a little bit lighter and more speckly so if you do that you know you alternate your skeins like that or if you alternate your hanks like that you will definitely definitely have a better outcome to your project so this is something that i think i am going to work it together and i am going to do like that, you know, go back and forth like that. Do the two rows, you know, maybe knit one way, purl back, and then pick up the other one, and then go and just see what that comes out. What do you think, guys? I think that'll come out awesome. So what should I make? What should I make? If you guys have any ideas, please put it in the comment section for me and let me know what you think I should make out of this. If you guys know of a pattern that would look really cool with these two let me know okay i appreciate you guys so much so that's it for mason creations yarns december 2020 yarn of the month club um i will leave the link to her etsy shop in my description box you guys and i also have a playlist of the yarn of the month clubs and she's in it i've bought for September, October, no, I've bought for October, November, and now December with her. So I'm looking forward to her January. I hope that she has it up pretty soon in her shop. But anyway, um, so go check her out. She has some beautiful yarns in her shop. I will talk to you guys really soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, guys. I love you guys very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.